like I said, we keep your ears open, right? We're moving around. You know there's always someone ha hanging out in buildings. We're going to jump off. We're going to hear the door to our right side. And when we hear that door, we're going to act like we don't hear him. I'm going to go into the storage, break the camera, and then just come right back and shoot him with the QBZ. He was not expecting that at all. We really broke his ankles. Now, right Yo, here. what is going on, Royal Family? It's your boy, Key Muggsy, the shiniest bald head on the stream. So I'm bringing you guys the mind of Muggsy, another edition. And we're going to show you guys what audio can do for you in Warzone and how we were able to get this sexy dub. We got 13 kills, 14 kills around there for a solo win. But it's not just about the win. It's how we won the game and how we got into these fights and won these fights because of audio guys when audio works in warzone it just makes everything so much better so you guys gonna go right into this gameplay with me and i'm gonna talk about everything that was going through my head and what i heard during the the game and the audio and how it was able to help us out and get the dub all right guys if you guys are enjoying the video and the content that we've been dropping lately make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel hit that bell to be part of the naughty gang of the royal family we will catch you guys later you guys take care What's up? Is... Peace out. All right, Royal Family. So here I am in Verdansk. And I'm going to show you guys how we were able to clutch up this dub and what was going through my head and how audio played a big role and how we were able to clutch and how people think you're cheating. But it really is just the FOV and audio. Good headset does come a long way. And when audio actually works in Warzone, can help you a lot when it comes to gunfights. So the good way about us doing it this way, I could pause, I could skip. Uh, parts of the, of the of the game i could show you the gunfight right away and i could tell you what's going through my head the minute we get into the gunfight so uh let's go ahead and go to our first gunfight all right guys so we're gonna get our loadout as fast as we can now the the one thing about this part people see it right so we're pushing out of it we're trying to get out of this bridge as fast as we can but as you're gonna see with our first encounter of a player in warzone this guy did a weird play he threw his smoke trying to like distract someone else from shooting him i guess but he gave us a a cue to go and look around and of course there he is he pops up on our right side and we made sure we hit that headshot with our swiss sniper but uh we don't know why he made that play but he gave up his spot and we were able to win i think he was trying to sneak up on me and thought he had a chance to get the to get our get his kill and get my loadout but it didn't work out too well for him and you're gonna see right here guys i'm gonna hear my footsteps to the left see him and hit that headshot so again we're on top of he of high ground we hear footsteps in the bottom left Make sure we're reloaded and there he is guys right below and we hit that headshot when it matters see you later omar uh but there you go guys so that's the second fight we get into again audio is key left side of the building we were able to hit the footsteps when they all when it when everything works it's amazing all right royal family so right here this is where we get to the next gunfight and you're gonna see uh there's a guy on the right side of the building now what we like I said, we keep your ears open, right? We're moving around. You know there's always someone ha hanging out in buildings. We're going to jump off. We're going to hear the door to our right side. And when we hear that door, we're going to act like we don't hear him. I'm going to go into the storage, break the camera, and then just come right back and shoot him with the QBZ. He was not expecting that at all. We really broke his ankles. Now, right here, I'm distracted with some chat a little bit, but it's all good because I love to talk to my chat when I'm playing. But right here, this guy had a shotgun. He had no options. He just tried to shoot me. All we had to do is turn around and hit the shots and send him back to the gulag. Now, right here, you're going to see me pause, guys. You're going to see me pause, and you're going to see me because I hear footsteps. You see that? So I'm hearing footsteps to my left. <laughs> and this is what I mean with audio, guys. See? There he is, left side. I didn't hit my shots. It was like one of the first few games jumping on. I should hit my shots. But he is, he is uh, forced to push back now. We stun him. We're gonna make him move to the left side of the car make him think we don't know where he's at or make him think we're at the sheds right so we hit our shots i remember i had a sniper in my back pocket hit a nice crucial shot to break his armor he tries to run away and all we had to do is do the little flickety flick and send him back guys so again audio is key and and like i said we were in the storage we heard him to the left side we made sure we we're being patient we let him run out and we took him out with the Sniper at the end, but the QBZ hurt him and had him back up. But hey, guys, with audio, it helps a lot. As you can see, I heard the guy on the left side. There's no hacks. There's no cheats. It's just audio. And sometimes the best players have that as well. And that's why they make these amazing plays. Just saying. 
So All right. We can go to the next fight. So we got five kills right here. And again, this is where we use audio, right? So this is where we use audio. We know we're getting hunted. We're getting hunted. Now, even though I'm looking at police because there's someone else over there, I will still keep my ears open to hear them climb the ladder, right? So you're going to see right now in this gunfight, and with this gunfight, you're gonna see. See, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little distracted, but I'm not really, cause I'm hearing the ladder. I'm trying to keep an, keep my ears open, act like I don't know what's going on, make him feel like he's maybe I'm distracted. And he's gonna be able, to, he's gonna be able to sneak up on me. Like this guy's gonna have daddy. And as you can see, I'm, I'm just kind of being aware. And there he is. He pops up. That was my bounty, and we sent him back to the lobby, guys. Again, audio is freaking key, chat. Audio is key. And uh, as you can see, I knew he was going to step up hey, and come that. to the ladder. I just had to keep my ears open because the minute they climbed the ladder, he had nothing but free shots. So that's how we were able to send that guy back to the Googe. And we're doing pretty good right now in this gameplay. We're doing amazing. You know, six kills, 33 people left. Next gunfight we're going to get into right here, guys. This is just an amazing snipe that we were able to hit. Now, when I'm sniping someone, I anticipate the movement. Now, I know he's going to use that vehicle, and as oh you can see, God, boom, yeah. we hit that headshot Ooh, from that distance. That and uh, from there, like I said, guys, let's go ahead and rewind that real quick. I anticipate the movement. I anticipate him, and I miss a lot of shots here. I miss a lot of shots. But I know he has his vehicle, so he's going to get his loadout. I couldn't really see him. I was trying to hope, I was hoping to get a headshot from right there, but I missed it. But he's going to go back to his vehicle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line up my shot the minute he leaves in that vehicle and you're gonna see right now i'm gonna line it up there it is and we oh send them back God, guys God. now i always oh, anticipate God. my shots <laughs> when i do my when i work my sniper in warzone and that's oh, key when it comes to hitting those headshots and you guys Sorry. know i hit a lot i shoot a lot of people out of vehicles and it's just anticipation of the movement of, of, of people driving in vehicles or people running around just lead the shots man just get used to leading those shots all right so we move on to next right here guys i do die but that's what happens when you don't have equipment. So I'm just trying to like see that even there with my shots. I'm not even leading it. And I was trying to anticipate him you jumping. Suck, you and like a dummy, I, I am. Cheeks. I do suck <laughs> because I ran into his vehicle I like a dummy. But as you can see, I had no C4s. Make sure you had those tacticals, man, to win that gunfight or to win that fight against a vehicle. All right. So we're going to go to the next one, guys. It's, getting, it's starting to become more crunch time. Um, right here. Right here, guys. Now, I'm keeping my eyes open, right? And I saw the guy jump on top of the roof, and I was able to look up and then really hit my shots. And he hit a DMR, so that really helped a lot to, to to get my shots ready to go and lined up for him with my QBZ. So instead of pushing up and giving him uh, advantage, I went to the higher ground into apartment, where it's going to give me more of a chance to win this fight, right? So you're going to see right now, he's going to give me eyes. He's gonna be thinking I might be pushing to apartment. He might jump off, and that's what, I, and that's exactly what he did. Uh, I, you know, he thought I was maybe in the apartment. He's gonna jump off, get to the tire, the, the taller building, but it's already too late because we're right there waiting for him, and I'm just waiting for him to jump off the building pretty soon. And once he does, this is where we could have died, but we were able to recover and use our QBZ. So there he is, right there. He tries to jump off. He does jump off. We jump off as well, but I pull my shoot, give him a chance to know where I'm at. Line up our shots. I kept on shooting right here, just hoping he was going to be aggressive. He was. And we were able to hit our shots with the QBZ on that one. So, right now, we got nine kills. You got 12 people left uh, on this gameplay right here with the QBZ and the Swiss Sniper. So, now we're in the part of the, of the map, guys. We're in the back side of the map. I see people flying to the right side. I know there's someone to... Uh, around this other side as well because there's a car on top of this hill so you can see right now this guy's shooting at me now right here i was being kind of aggressive i was hoping to hit the sniper shot but the tree and everything in the bush kind of got in my way he threw a stun i threw a stun at the same time he threw a thermite it was a kind of a it was even though he was a campy person he, he kind of knew what he was doing right excuse me he knew what he was doing so i armored up and i looked at the map and I know I need to make a play. I know where the circle is going to be. So I'm going to push back to the bridge and use the bridge and the vehicle to my advantage. And you're going to see that right now. All right, Royal Family. So like I said, we're going to go, we're going to use this vehicle. We're going to use it for head glitch. 
uh, use it for cover on the bridge. I know it's not the greatest strategy, but it does give me cover. Uh, whoever shoots at me is going to give up the position. So it's not the, always the greatest idea to be shooting at me when you know there's other people around you. Uh, right here, we're going to hit a nice little body shot, break his armor. And you're going to see how I lead my shot and hit him right when he's in the air. Perfect headshot, right? So let me, I'm going to pause it right at, the, right at the moment where he jumps. And you can see how my reticle is right below him when he jumps. Let me see if I can get it at the right spot right here. Let's check it out real quick, guys. So there you go. So as you can see, my reticle is below him, right? So the minute his body goes a little bit above it, that's when I let go of the trigger and hit that headshot. As you can see, and he, you know, we sent him back to the the gouge or the lobby because, uh, yeah, he ain't coming back. It's closed right now. Um. His name is one shot isn't that funny <laughs> so now we guys we're at a you know we got seven people left we're still using the cover we're still using this circle for uh to our advantage when it comes to like positioning now here we got five people left now here is where i you gotta always be careful of people running from behind you there's always sneaky players from behind you where you gotta keep your ears open you really gotta keep your ears open when it comes to people being behind you so playing this game for so long, I always kept my eyes open when it comes to like people running from buildings. If I know there's buildings behind me, I got to anticipate someone running out of that building and trying to creep up on me. And you're going to see right now, guys, when I'm kind of just looking around, looking around, you're going to see that I'm going to run into a guy to my left side. It is. I looked to my right because that was someone on the UAV that was uh, actually who actually had no ghost. But we're about to look right here on my right side when I turn around. And you're going to see how there's a guy right there laying down in the dark freaking corner. And there he is. He thought I didn't see him. I looked again. And there he is laying down. Now, we should have hit our headshots right here. But it's okay. We pull out that QBZ. And we sent him back to the lobby, right? So, now we got two people left. This is where you got to use your audio, guys. Right here at this spot. There's, you're going to hear someone soon, right? But I'm so, I'm kind of distracted with the person who's up top of the hill because I know there's one person there. I don't know where the last person's at. So I'm moving around, moving around, and you're going to see what I do to anticipate the guy's movement who's hiding. Are they both up here? There's no way. Right? So you're going to see it right now. You're going to hear it right now. And this is where I hear it. Watch. I kind of start to hear him a little bit. So this is why I look to the left. And the minute, bro, you are right. And the minute I jump in my vehicle, the guy makes the move because the storm part starts to push him out. So you're gonna see, I start to hear him. The minute I move my vehicle, that's when you gotta use that headset, right? I make sure I line up my shot, crucial second shot. And we hear the guy to the right, and we turn on him and hit our shots Let's and go, send him baby. back to the lobby and get the dub, royal family. So. This is what I did. Again, I heard him below me with the minute I moved the vehicle because he thought I was going to leave. I heard him. So I wanted to make sure I hit this shot. And we were able to hit that second shot and anticipate the other guy's movement. We heard his footsteps. And we were just ready for him, hard scoping him. And we sent him back to the lobby. And that is the mind of Muggsy, guys. As you can see, audio is so key. If you guys could get a decent headset... You guys will have so much advantage to people who don't have a decent headset or use their TVs for their audio. Stuff like this is the detail of the game where people think you're cheating, but it's not. It's just good headsets. You know what I mean? Because I didn't know the guy was below me until I moved the vehicle and I heard him below. And we were able to clutch up with the sniper and then turn to our right because we heard him running. We heard him running up the, the little hill right here by the, by the highway, right? And that's how we hit the shots, guys. And hopefully you guys like the content. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell to be part of the Naughty Gang of the Royal Family. And we'll catch you guys later. Much love. Peace out, baby.